So now let's create our first object. So how can you create an object in Python? In order to create an object, you need to create first a class. A class is just a definition where it contains information about the object. And then from that class, we can create objects. Think of a class as a, as a generator that can generate objects. It's just a, it's just a generator that, is, that stores the functions and also stores the properties. And then whenever you want to create an object, you can use that class to create an object because objects are gonna differ are gonna be different in terms of the properties and in terms of the f of the methods. For example, a car can have a different color from another. A car can have a different speed for if if we compare two cars. Uh, each car could have different maximum speed, maximum motor cycle, uh, model, uh, production year, color. Therefore, a class is just a general generator it's just a generator of objects so to create a class we say class and then the name of the uh, the name of the class the name of the class the convention for naming a class is that we give the first letter a capital we 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 type the the first letter as a capital car and just car it's it's a singular not plural and then we say here brackets and then colon so this is a class. This is a class. Now we have a class. But of course, as I told you, a class, a class or an object must have properties. So in order to create properties for a class, we need to create what is called a constructor. What is a constructor? A constructor is just a function or method that gets called Initially, whenever we create a new object of that class, we the 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 um, the constructor gets called automatically. So the constructor here we need to create it first. We need to leave four empty uh, letters. So here one, two, three, four, and then you need to say def, and then underscore underscore, and then init, and then underscore underscore, and then brackets, and then self and then colon, and then here goes the logic of that constructor. And don't worry too much about the, the syntax here. This syntax pretty, pretty much is gonna be the same in all objects, in all classes. You need to type def, and then underscore, underscore, init, underscore, underscore, self. This is gonna create the, this is gonna, uh, create the constructor function. And now inside that constructor, we can define the properties. So as I told you, the properties in our case, we have the color, the speed, the motor, the col the model, the production year. So here we can say self dot color, and then we specify the color. So the color can be let's say red, and then in the second line we can say self dot the second uh, the second property is the speed. So I'm going to say self dot speed. And then it's going to be equal, let's say, 100. And we have now two properties. I'm just I'm going to create two properties for now. And later we can create more properties. So now we have a class called car. And it has two properties. It has color and it has speed. And this is called a constructor. So this is the constructor, which is construct which is a function that gets called automatically once we create an object of this class.